good old winter wonderland. I swear, it feels like we live in Minnesota now. What is going on, everybody? Big Red here. Welcome to the vlog. Now, I hope everybody had a good weekend. There is uh, still a bit of snow coming down around here, which uh, if you've been following long enough, you know by now your boy does not like the snow. So, there's that. But what we're going to get into today is I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to throw in some workout clips from the week so you guys can check out what I've been doing. Uh, and then a little later I'm going to sit down and I want to talk to you guys about something that I, uh, I, I really just got into. So that's going to be fun. First what I'm going to do is I actually got some kind of cool uh, shots from the snow. Um, as much as I hate it. It comes out pretty good on camera, so I had to take uh, had to take full advantage of that. So check that out. some fun with the snow uh, on to now all the good stuff that you guys probably like a little bit better me get my pump on That was a little snippet of the workout from the week. So what I'm going to do now is I am patiently waiting for my food to be delivered because I ordered it like an hour and a half ago and it's still not here. But my plan is to eat and then I'm going to talk to you guys about some real ish right now. All right. And for the record, can we just look at something real quick here? Look at these sleepy dogs in the blankets. What's... What's happening here? Are you so tired? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. In my pudding nugget. Oh, yeah. Why are dogs so freaking cute? Can somebody answer that for me? It's... They really are. Oh man, food is here. This is something different that's happened now with the pandemic. I'm sure everybody knows the same thing, is that now, if you go to your front door, open it up. Oh, look at that. Lunchtime. Drop napkins all over the floor. No big deal. Yeah. Okay, here's probably my biggest pet peeve ever. 
okay, I ordered food from the bagel place on Seamless, so it drops it off at the house. I ordered iced coffee. Big iced coffee, too. Look, look at this. See? This thing's no slouch, all right? It's not your ordinary iced coffee. No straw. Why? Why? Clearly, I need a bigger straw to go in this one. Why aren't you including a straw? It drives me nuts every time. Now, luckily in my house, we are fans of oversized drinks and have a few extra of these guys here. That's always good. All right, everybody, at this point, you have probably seen the absolute madness that the uh, the internet is going through, okay? And what I want to talk about right now is some of my newest, maybe, investments that I've been making, thanks to everybody on the internet. So now, said investment I'm talking about comes in the form of Pokemon cards. Now, as, I mean, everybody has probably seen it at this point that the first edition Pokemon are going absolutely bananas. So what I did was I went on and I found a couple of packs that are, they're not first edition. I spent maybe $70, $80 on this at most. And... I got the Evolution and a couple of uh, newer uh, edition Pokemon cards that are currently out right now. So what I got right here is one of three packages that I got. Um, I'm not opening them yet because I'm going to save it until they're all here. Uh, but one package I got was the Pokemon TCG. It's a three booster pack. Okay, so that has Breakthrough, System Siege, and Breakpoint on it. The other pack I got, which was the most expensive one in the whole thing, was the Evolution uh, Booster Pack as well. And these are packs, not boxes, because I'm not quite there yet. Um, but they have it's four. It's a four pack of the Evolution one that have uh, they are all you know the sealed starter booster ones. That's that's what I got. Third one that I ordered, um, which I believe this one is, is the Sun and Moon Pack. Now, I chose these because, to be honest, they were cheaper. I mean, the Evolution 4 Pack was probably the most expensive one that I got. Um, and I think that was 50, 50 bucks for, for the 4 Pack, which still isn't that bad because looking online that I could possibly pull a anywhere from $3,000 to $75,000 card. So, could be worth it. There's also other lesser cards in uh, these smaller packs that I got, not the Evolution one, that sell for $10 to $15. So I spent, you know, 15 bucks, I think, on seven other packs of cards. So, if I make my money back, I'm all right. So now this brings me to my Next point. Now, do I do a whole unboxing in one video where I open all the packs, or do you guys think I should hold on to the packs sealed and kind of see what happens throughout then? I mean, I, I really don't know what to do. I'm not by any means a card collectible guy. Um, I just saw a lot of people getting into Pokemon. It's all over my TikTok. Um, Pokey Talk, whatever it is, has been absolutely insane. And, uh, of course, my boy Logan Paul went out and bought, I think, six of the first edition uh, booster packs. Yeah. This dude dropped $2 million on 
on these Pokemon cards. Two million. So as you could probably believe, I am anxiously waiting for the other two packs to get here. Um, right now, you're watching this, it's Monday, it says that it should be here today. So, that could be fun. Maybe that'll be next weekend's activity. We can break it open and see what's going on. But if you guys have any uh, recommendations or anything about this, if you're a card collectible guy, girl yourself, let me know what you think. Because I'm genuinely curious, curious as to what I should do. That's all I got for the vlog this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Turn that post notification bell on so you're not missing anything that's going on around here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So stay tuned for tomorrow for your wacky weekend update. And uh, some fun stuff coming out with the Red Hair Don't Care podcast. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you tomorrow.